I am catching 1,000 guardians and placing them all inside this guy's McDonald's because I don't like McDonald's. First. Now I actually have two methods of catching guardians, with one of those methods being leads. So we should be able to just grab the silly little goober and put him on our lead. And put him on our bloody lead. Please. They can't go on leads. Fear not, for we can use a fishing rod to hook these cheeky little rascals. Please. Why? Ow. Bloody belly. Get on me, rod. Oh my god. You stupid motherfucker. If only there was a way to keep the guardians above the water. That way I would actually be able to hook them with my rod. Surely, that just gave me an idea. We just gotta find some soul sand, which is right there. So, if we place soul sand underwater, it actually creates a bubble elevator, which makes the guardians fly above the water and through the portal. Okay, guardian, I'm going to fishing rod you all the way to spawn. Please follow me. Please, 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 please. I should probably make a tunnel to spawn. You will not escape me this time. Uh -oh. All I have is my fists. I will fist you to spawn. Come on, fishy, move it, move it. I need 1,000 of you little punks. You know, I think we need more than one fishing rod to reach spawn. Now I have full four shulker boxes of fishing rods. Oh, my crumbs, oh, my crumbs. Hurry up, get in. Let's go, come on. I gotta get you into that McDonald's. Oh yeah, I'm kind of catching all these guardians because I hate McDonald's. You see, I play on a server called the Outcast. And the server was going all great and fine and dandy until this guy, Rasmus, built a stupid McDonald's in the middle of a spawn. And it looks ugly as hell, bro. And I really want him to move it out of spawn. So that's why I'm putting a thousand guardians in his base. If we can actually catch a bloody guardian, that is. This isn't working. I think we need a proper place to actually store the guardians and then somehow have all 1,000 guardians shoot up into Rasmus's base at the same time. But that's just practically impossible and the stupidest solution I could ever think of. Welcome to what I like to call the Giddy Gang Guardian place. Listen, I may not be good at names, but what I am good at is being a nuisance. Yeah, one out of 1,000 guardians, baby, slaying. This is absolutely fantastic. I finally have a place to store all the guardians, and it's looking like catching these 1,000 guardians is going to be a breeze. Boom. Oh, one guardian. And two guardian. So, well... This Where's is where guardian? your average Minecraft video um, goes to complete and utter... Dookie. Guardians have quite the silly mechanic where when you leave their area, they bloody despawn, which is kind of a problem because we need 1,000 of them. But there is a way to counter this. You see, main tags completely stop mobs from despawning. The only problem is that we would need 1,000 of them, which in itself is bloody preposterous. But I do have a really sneaky way of getting the 1,000 name tags. It just involves us building a subway. I promise this is relevant, just stick with me, please. If we take these villagers, which actually sell us name tags, and put them on a rail, then send them all the way to spawn, and through this portal underneath the subway. That way, nobody will even know there's villagers here, because everyone's attention will be focused on the subway. And that includes Rasmus. The one guy that just absolutely cannot find out about what we're doing. Listen, if Rasmus finds out about this, he will probably kill all our guardians, ruin the giddy gang guardian place, and blow up my damn cat! Okay, maybe not that last one. But regardless, Rasmus cannot find out about these guardians. So we just gotta make sure to keep this project as secret as possible. And collect as many name tags as possible. Wow! Yeah, baby. Oh, dearie me, I'm wholeheartedly slaying right now. This is jolly good if I do say so myself. Oh, I am going to name the first stack for Boinkles. I can't think of any more names. Welp, that is what Twitter is for. Bingus, Connor, Penny Gobbler, 57, Jeff, Bam Bam, Ice Spice, Scruffs, Comically, Oh wait, no, Cool One Balls and One Food, Awesome Shark, Jonathan, Savary, Jerry, Fantastic, Jimbo, Crimbo, Jimbo, Jonathan, Jim, Tim, Cornelius. 
Ah damn, y'all suck at naming things. Attempt four, I think. Fruit portal. Painfully fishing rod you down this whole goddamn tunnel. Like, really painfully. Name you for boinkles. And then through this nether portal. Which finally leaves us with one out of one thousand guardians. Dog, Rasmus is about to get like really messed up and like a prank then. Stop up. Man, I thought I could have said something cool. Yo, who the heck is for boingles, dog? This is really, really bad. That guy you just heard, yeah, that was Rasmus. And I'm currently in a call with him. Also, in case you forgot, Rasmus is the one guy that absolutely cannot find out about these guardians. And when you see Estelina was slain by four boingles in the chat, it seems pretty goddamn suspicious. We had to find a way to distract Rasmus from my death. And the only thing I could think of saying was, Hey, Rasmus, do you want to help me get ice? Ice. Ice, yeah. Uh, sure. I don't even know where the heck we can find ice, dog. <laughs> Me neither, bro. Let's find some. <laughs> we don't even know where to <laughs> Who the fuck it is? Listen, asking Rasmus to help me collect ice was the only thing I could think of. But you must be thinking, why specifically ice? Y you were thinking that, right? Basically, catching these guardians is really, really, really bloody dangerous. Like, it's not even funny. God damn it! But I have an idea which will make catching guardians much more safe. And it only involves two ingredients, ice and boats. First, we just gotta get the ice. What the fuck is Brody doing? He's taking me, I'm gonna kill this goddamn polar bear. The next step of this plan is to turn this entire tunnel into ice. Yippee! Basically, I plan to put the guardians in a boat, then slide them all the way to the Giddy Gang Guardian place. Because it is one, faster, and two, safer. I just gotta place down all this blooming ice! Alrighty, Rue. Let's test out this new ice boat method. Attempt five. Through the portal, into the boat, name tag you, and yum! Oh, screw, screw! Yum! Yum! yum. Through the end portal and boom! That didn't even take a blooming minute! This is so much faster than the previous stupid fishing rod method. Golly gosh! <laughs> What's that I smell? <laughs> Do I smell a montage? Oh! This is genuinely going swimmingly. No pun intended. Okay, it was kind of intense. But I might as well upgrade the Giddy Gang Guardian place while we're on a roll. Catching these Guardians has been so much easier ever since I added this ice. There's literally nothing that could go wrong. I really gotta learn to shut up every once in a while. But this is a major problem because once again, Rasmus was online. And this time, it says Guardian in the chat instead of Ferboinkle. So this could only mean that this is the end. Rasmus is about to find all our hundreds of Guardians underneath his base. He's going to kill all of them and ruin our entire plan. Nope. He was too distracted on Tazo doing Duolingo. What the fuck language is that, dog? Buddy is speaking fluent in the man. I'm so glad Rasmus is stupid as hell. He may be stupid, but me dying shows that this method is still far too dangerous. Rasmus might have been distracted during this death, but he might not be distracted during the next. We have to find a method which is 100% safe while catching and transporting guardians. Because I haven't mentioned it, but I'm still dying even with the boat method. But there's no method that could be 100% safe. Guardians are one of the most aggressive and dangerous mobs in Minecraft. Surely there's no way to completely safe proof both catching and transporting, right?
Well, I actually have one last crazy four-step plan. And if this final method doesn't work, well, then we can't get the 1000 Guardians. Step one of my plan requires us to create a Guardian farm. Just like this. This will then take all of the spawned guardians and send them through those nether portals and into step two, the collection chamber. In step two, a minecart pops out of his silly little dispenser and picks up the mean little guardians and stops them right here where I can name tag them. I then send them off to step three, the transportation rail. It's long and stuff. This then brings the guardians all the way to step four, the giddy gang guardian place portal. Oh, I'm like Dr. Shoes. I'm rapping and stuff. Not really, but like, yo. What am I doing? But now with the four step plan complete, there only leaves one thing left to do. It, it's a montage. And that was the 1,000th Guardian. Golly gosh, I am so nervous to go through this portal. <laughs> oh my fumble bottoms, this is jolly silly. Oh my god. What the hell, bro? What the hell? What the hell? I think we should give the Giddy Gang Guardian place a celebratory upgrade for hitting 1,000 Guardians. And this is it. The next time Rasmus logs onto the server, we're gonna prank him like a boss, like a beast, like a... There's one tad issue though. To release all the guardians, you need to break these four blocks. The problem is that when I release the guardians, I'll be on the surface with Rasmus. Meaning there's no way for me to break these four blocks. Well, not without a friend. Let me introduce you to Wyra. Wyra? I need your help with something. Oh yeah. I can't exactly explain just yet. I kind of, I kind of got to show you. Is there a reason the server is like dying? Ah. Uh... Now, yeah. Waira, before I open these Ooh. doors, what on earth is that sound? Do you think you're ready? No, because my frame rate <laughs> drops by ten whenever I look towards the door. So I need your help to release these. What? The actual hell. Those guardians? This is 1,000 guardians. What? How? Wh when I message you, right, there's four stone brick slabs there, right? You need to mine all four of them, and then they all shoot up. Okay. Oh my god. Now, it was finally time. Rasmus joins the server, and I join his call. So... Hey. You see this McDonald's, right? Oh no. Uh, dirty McDonald's. I've tried so hard to get this Rasmus to move out because I can't stand looking at the McDonald's. I hate it that much. Okay. Come over here, Rasmus. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. What's gonna happen? If you won't move out of your McDonald's on yeah. kind terms, I'm gonna have to take some drastic <laughs> terms for you to move out. What are? What are? What are? I love me some water. I actually Stop have a glass of water here with me right now. Can you guys hear this? <laughs> That's pretty cute. So can we come in now? Just <laughs> someone is a <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Where did I come from? It's like a volcano. That's why the fuck I'm lagging! Yeah, that explains the lag. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's like comically large, but I saw Jeff. It's one of his anti spice oh, here. Oh, his anti spice God. here. Who's this? Jonathan oh, Sebastian. Oh, back. Oh, I'm dying. I just looked down there for two seconds. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that is at the bottom. And I just. <laughs> 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 okay, who's gonna take care of him? Uh, you got it. It's your McDonald's. No, it's not my. Yeah, but it's not my. Okay. Look at the inside of your house, bro. Dude. Yeah, this ain't none of my problem. This ain't none of my problem. No!